Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Today our group will present the topic of al-jumlah al-fadliyah. Our group consists of Shazwan, Zulharizi and Izad. These are the points that we will present in this presentation. The first point is the definition, second is the characteristic, third is the structure, fourth is the examples. Definition, also known as makna, al-jumlah al-fadliyah is a sentence that begins with a verb. Second point is the characteristic of jumlah fa'liyah. The first characteristic is the first word must not have alif lam. This is because the first word is a verb and a verb can never have alif lam. Similarly, the first word must not end with tamlin. This is the regulation of a verb. Third is the sentence must not begin with people's name. This is because the names of the people are considered isim. Similarly, the sentence also must not begin with pronouns such as huwa, anta, and so on. This is because al-jumlah al-fa'liyah cannot start with anything other than fa'il. Fa'il pada jumlah fa'liyah boleh dibagikan kepada tiga, iaitu fa'il madhi, iaitu fa'il yang telah lepas, fa'il madharak, fa'il yang sedang dan akan berlaku, fa'il amar ialah perintah. Contoh-contoh bagi ketiga-tiga fa'il ini ialah fa'il madhi, zahabah ahmad ilal madrasah, telah pergi ahmad ke sekolah. Bagi fa'al mudarat pula, Yadhabu Ahmad ilal madrasah. Sedang pergi Ahmad ke sekolah. Dan fa'al amar, Yadhabu ya Ahmad ilal madrasah. Pergilah wahai Ahmad ke sekolah. Seterusnya, fa'al dalam jumlah fa'al ini juga boleh dibagikan kepada dua bentuk. Iaitu fa'al muta'adi dan fa'al lazim. Fa'al muta'adi ialah fa'al yang memerlukan kepada objek. Iaitu, contohnya seperti, Ya'kulu at-talib al-aruza. Perbuatan Ya'kulu iaitu makan, perlu kepada bantuan objek iaitu nasi. Manakala contoh yang seterusnya ialah yang qra'u Ahmad al-Kitab. Perbuatan yang qra'u di dalam ayat tersebut iaitu membaca perlu bantuan daripada objek iaitu buku. Manakala bagi fa'il lazim, fa'il yang tidak perlu kepada objek. Contohnya seperti yahduru Ahmad fil fasli. Sedang hadir Ahmad ke kelas. Perbuatan hadir tidak perlu dibantu oleh objek. Dan contoh yang lain ialah yadkhulu Ahmad ilal fasli. Sedang masuk Ahmad ke kelas. Perbuatan masuk tidak perlu dibantu oleh sebarang objek yang lain. Now, let's take a look at some example for the Joomla failure. Alright. As you can see here, Zahaba al-Jaddu ila al-Bustan. So basically, as you can see here, the subject is singular and the verb is also singular. Referring, and the verb is in masculine gender because, al because the subject is in masculine gender. So that is Best the surface level of jumlah failure. As you can see here, the subject is in plural, but the verb remains for singular, and this is for uh, masculine gender. Yamshi al falahu nafil hakli. The verb still remain on singular. Now, if the subject is feminine, this is what will happen. Jalasa ajadatu al al maqadin. Now, as you can see here, the subject is feminine, a singular feminine. The subject is singular feminine, feminine gender. But the verb is still singular, but it's referring to the gender which is female right here, feminine right here. Now, uh, what if the subject is plural and it's also feminine? Guess what? It's still the same as previous example still the same as previous example as you can see here the subject now is plural is in plural but the verb remains the same for singular except it's referring to the gender of the subject and yeah i guess that's it that's that's it for me that's it for me and um, thank you very much